Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen Welcome to episode 9 of Tom's Lockdown List today And here we've got Tom Hi Say Tom, say hi properly Hello That's better What are you doing there Tom? I'm greasing the bearings Oh yeah, let's have a look one of the crank bearings there, Tom's just applying some grease into it. We've stripped it down way further than we intended because uh, we discovered once we got into the engine that there was quite a lot of wear in the big end so uh, out comes the crank assembly and wasn't going to strip the crank assembly down but uh, as you'll see in a minute we kind of had to. We're just going to go, I'm just going to pop into the workshop, we'll leave Tom there, greasing his bearing. Carry on Tom. Okay. And into my workshop. This is where things will get a bit shaky. My workshop isn't very big. And as you can see, it's rather cluttered up with all sorts of things. Um, Tom's Lister D, uh, Land Rover parts here, Land Rover window frame, Somewhere under that uh, big cloth, there is a Ruston Ormby 2 VTH that I did intend to put in a narrowboat. Don't know as I ever will. Um, don't want to spend my time fitting out a narrowboat. Want to be on the water enjoying it, which is where we should have been this week. But instead, we're locked down. But here we go. We've got the crankshaft for the listed D. Now this big end was terribly worn and what I've done is just slide the conrod off I've taken the uh, bearing out of there and didn't centre quite right my three jaw chuck so I've had it in the four jaw chuck and then I've just machined it away I'm not going to try and white metal that again um, this engine's only ever going to run on a rally field, so it's not going to run for hours and hours. So that was then opened out until it cleaned up all the way round, and I polished that up, chopped the hardened metal collar off the crank pin, uh, turned a new one. This is just out of mild steel. Um, I'm led to believe that only Lister D's had hardened. Um, collars on the crank pins anyway so I don't think putting a mild steel one rather than a hardened one on there is any big deal but uh, that was chopped off new one turned um, made um, so it was just entering onto the crank pin then got it red hot uh, tapped it on so far till it got stuck then used the vise to squeeze it the rest of the way on and now I've got, excuse me because I'm holding the camera as well, and it's difficult, a nice fit there on that big end. So that's all ready to go back together. So, there we go, there we have it, that's what we've been up to. Oh, and <laughs> here's Tom. Hi Tom. Hello. Alright, you happy with your grease in? Yeah. Right, well we better get this crankshaft out of the vise now. Yeah. And we better see if we can get that back in. So that's just a brief one. Thanks for watching. If you uh, enjoy our little videos, uh, like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye for now. What would you say, Tom? Bye.